All right, I'm going to try to explain scientific variables. And let's say we have an experiment here where we're testing the, the effects of fertilizer. That's this, the fert, the fer fertilizer on a plant. So we put fertilizer into one plant, um, and then we have another plant um, that does not have fertilizer, and we measure its effects. So the one thing, the single thing that we are changing in the experiment, and we are testing to see its effects, that is called the independent variable the independent variable okay and independent meaning you know by itself so it is what we are testing and in this case it is uh, fertilizer the effects of fertilizer um, the next variable let's just put it down here a little bullet point the next variable is called the dependent variable. And the dependent variable is that characteristic that we're measuring. So in this case, every week we're going to go out and we measure the growth of the flower. And you see here on the data table that we went out every week and measured its, its growth. And so after one week, it was they both grew an inch. Two weeks went three and two three weeks it went four and two and after four weeks the fertilizer um, clearly sh shows that it's growing a little bit faster um, so I always think that it's easier when looking at a, an experiment and you're trying to find which is the dependent and independent um, I think it's easiest to figure out the dependent first because it's real simple to figure out you know what it is that we're measuring on the on the table and what what's the factor that we're going to be going out and, and observing um, and then from there, you can figure out, okay, what is the thing that is causing this observation to be different? And that would be the independent variable. So in this case, the dependent variable, what we are watching would be um, the growth of the flower. So a uh, definition for that would be what we measure. So the dependent variable is... Um, the factor that we are measuring, whether it's the growth of a flower, you know, we're measuring something, we're timing something, we're watching for something to change color. It's what we are measuring, what we or what we observe. Okay. Now we get to the part that gets a little bit tricky because both both names are the same or very similar. There's something called control variables and the control variables um, and a, a better word that I feel fits and it is less confusing are called is called constants okay and the constants or the control variables are all the things that have to stay the same um, so for instance we're using the same type of flower we're you know probably the same soil <coughs> <clears throat> we're watering it the same. It's getting the same amount of sun. So um, all parts that are the same, those are the control variables. And again, the better word that I, I choose to use in my class are called constants. All right. Um, the other the other type of control is let's erase all of this the other type of control is the the flower whoops sorry about that um, let's do hold on okay um, so the other control control also known as the control control group sometimes Oops. control group depending on the type of experiment um, would be the flower that we did not do anything to that we did not add fertilizer to so the control group is really important because you need something to compare your your experimental side this is our experimental side um, the control group um, is, is needed because we need to see if 
the fertilizer was a positive, had a positive effect or a negative effect. So, for instance, let's say, for instance, um, our fertilized flower um, gets really, whoops, wrong one, it gets really big, okay? And so we can see um, when we compare it to, to, to this flower that, oh, yeah, wow, this flower got much taller. But if, if we didn't have any of that, if we didn't have it and all we had was just the flower with the fertilizer, then it wouldn't tell us anything. We, we wouldn't know if it was better, worse, or the same than with, whoops, than, than with, you know, compared to another flower that, that didn't have any fertilizer. So you need to have something to compare it to, and that is the control. Um, also known as the control group. Alright, so um, that is kind of um, a confusing part of it. Uh, control and then the control variables. Okay, which again are the things that we keep consistent. Um, but again, I think a better word that we should use are the constants. And I've seen that, um, that word used more and more often. All right, um, getting kind of long, so I uh, um, hope you understood. Dependent, independent, control variables, and control group, or just the control. All right, thanks.